The database which backup or recovery we want to perform using Arman is known as the target database. And to learn how to prop a perform backup and recovery using Arman, we must to know how to properly establish a connection between Arman and the target database. What's up everyone? I am Ahmad from Intop DBA. And today's tutorial, we will learn how to pro properly connect with the Arman, which is also known as recovery manager and target database. So without wasting your time, let's start the tutorial. So today's topic is connecting to, uh, to Arman and target database. So there are two ways to connect with the Arman. First one using Arman target command and second one is using Arman connect command. So first example, Arman target sys. So let's do practically, practically. Arman target and sys. Sys is the user well, when you install the Oracle database on your machine, so you have already specified the password for sys user. So I'm gonna pass the password for the sys user. So here you go. We have connected to the ORCL database with sys user. The second way is Arman target. This is also known as connect with CDB using external user, which uses the OS authentication. So let's 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 do it. Arman target and forward slash. So here we have connected with the ORCL database. In this case, again, we are connected with the database using sys user with sysdba privilege. Using Arman target forward slash, you will not need to specify the password. This is because forward slash indicates the external user. In case of external user, the authentication is managed by external services like native operating system. Another way of connecting to CDB is using common user. So I have already created one user for uh, in my database, and this is the password. So how we can connect uh, the Arman with the specific with a common user. So let's get it. So here Arman target and what was the user? Let's see Hashish admin and this is the password. So again, we are connected with a specific user. So I'm going to show you the another way how we can uh, connect with, uh, as a sys backup. Exit. Arman target as sys backup user. So here we have we, we are connected with the ORCL, uh, ORCL database using Arman target as sys backup. So this is the role sys backup. So to list backups, how many backups you have? This is the command list backups. Let's check list. These are all the backups we have already taken. So it gives you all the details. This is the date, and it took this much, this many time, and this is the desk specification. This is the size, and the type is full backup. So if you if you want to list all the backups information, this is the command list backups. If you want to do uh, um, uh, to take a full backup, so this is the command backup database. This will take a complete or full backup of your database. Backup database starting and it's going to take the full backup. So finished. We have taken the full backup. 
how we can list the the old or the expired backup let's say uh, it exceeded the seven days and uh, we want to know which are the old backups so this is the command report obsolete these are all the the, the expired backup let's say uh, it was taken on 23rd of may uh, 8 8 of may 8 of may so these are really old backups uh these old backups is really not useful in our system in our database we can delete the old backups uh, so to delete these old backups just simply type delete obsolete This command, delete obsolete, is going to delete all the expired backup. Uh, it prompts a message, do you really want to delete the above objects? You can type yes. It's gonna delete all the old backups. Means backup which exceeded like seven days backup is, is still exist in the system. So delete them which exist more than seven days because we don't need them anymore, those backup files. It means the old backup will be deleted if you don't delete all backup which exceeds seven days or more. Delete obsolete is useful to free up some space in your system. Using SQL in RMAN, how we can use SQL in the RMAN? So just connect with the RMAN. We already did it. We already in the RMAN. But again, I can show you. RMAN target. So we are connected with the RMAN. And some people say is, is wondering, can we use a SQL command with the RMAN? Yes, of course we can use execute SQL commands, and even you can execute PL SQL procedure in the RMAN. So I'm, try, I'm trying to show you one of the, that example. In the RMAN, we are using a SQL command. So it, it gives me some error. Let me pause the uh, Okay, so uh, there was a syntax error and the column name a problem. So I have fixed it. I just described the WeDollar database and select a DBIT name log mode from WeDollar database. So this is usage of a SQL command in the RMAN. Uh, these are a few ways of properly connecting with the recovery manager in Oracle database. Hope you enjoyed watching. If so, then give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, press the thumbs down. But do make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for next Armand backup and recovery tutorials. Thanks for watching.